All right, guys, this should be relatively quick. This is going to be our final on the Pro Max 200s. This is uh, port one. As you can tell, it, this has been finalized, so every bowl has been equalized and so forth. So the bowl is slightly different than our last cut, and uh, it seems to be pretty happy where it is right now. Uh, as far as our liquid in the chamber, not bad. A little chunkier than I would like on... Uh, the exhaust side, but we definitely got nice coverage. Also looks pretty good on on the bore. Okay, not bad in the bowl. You got some on the center of the cylinder side. That looks good. And how about our wow, well, looks damn good. Overall, good handle on liquid. I think that'll help. It is a street ride. It will be a 7,000 RPM street ride, but it's going to be a street ride. It's going to be carbureted. So keep that uh, keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, the idea was to squeeze 600 horse out of a 408 with 11 to 1 compression with a pretty good solid roller cam. Big holly, single plane, and I believe an 850 carburetor. I think I'll drop all that stuff into my performance trends and see what it says. But that's going to be for a different video. Now, I didn't raise the roof a tremendous amount. In fact, the roof is really just cleaned more than anything else. I did work on the speeds inside that port quite a bit. Could I have worked on it a little bit more? Yeah, but I got a good combination of swirl, speeds, and port stability. Does it make a difference? I think it does. I should also mention that this... This pinch is much wider at the top than it is the bottom, up about a hundred thousandths. So what that means is this area right here is extremely thin. Basically, clean it and you're kind of done. So keep that in mind. So this morning, this was still all bolted up from the flag and flow ball combination. First thing I did was I wanted to hit it with a little dicum because that wasn't done before. So I fired it up at 600 lift on the cold bench. She flows 292, which is quite a bit better than 286. But if you take a look at the last video, it was coming up around 290 quite a bit. So those few CFM due to more than anything else is probably temperature. FYI. Okay, we need to take a look at this versus our last cut and see if we got any pluses or minuses. The only thing different is I went through both heads and equalized all the bowls and so forth. So this is our third cut. This is our finished or fourth cut. Not really a lot has been changed. This was 78 degrees. That was 80 degrees. Okay, minus, minus, minus. Very, very close. Plus, minus, plus. <coughs> 210 is good at, at 300. Plus, plus, plus. Minus, minus, minus. Okay, but on a cold bench, it actually flowed quite a bit more. I'm not going to worry about those little ups and downs. Okay, let's take a look at our intake port air speeds. Okay, you'll see a couple couple interesting things here. This is what our air speeds were on the pinch. They're definitely more balanced top to bottom now. Okay, so we gained some up here even here. Now, did I change anything on the pinch? Not really. Okay, so the only thing, well, I shouldn't say that. Because when I go through and I equalize all the ports, I make sure all the middle of the port, here, three dimensions. Bottom of the ports are all the same, middle of the ports are all the same, top of the ports are all the same. So it may have gotten changed a little bit. Okay, in any case, it's a little bit happier. We went over how big it is, it's 2.24, which is which is a good size. That is definitely not going to hold this up on a on a, uh, a 408 that spins 7,000. So that'll be, work out well. How do we do on our roof speeds? It's actually a little bit worse. Okay. A little bit more of a differential. How do we do on our short side? See, I was afraid of goofing this up. So I tried not to do much on the short side, but it did get some bowl work, so it is going to change it a little bit. Notice how close these are. They just swapped sides. 
excellent speed across the short side. Okay, interesting differences on our swirls, right? This is our third cut, this is our fourth cut. Because you change, when you equalize the bowls, you're going to change the width of the bowl in spots, right? Minus, minus, plus, minus, 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 minus. A little bit less swirl everywhere, which tells me I probably took more of the bowl out on the center of the cylinder side. Which would also give us a speed discrepancy here, right? So... We made the port more efficient, so we gained speed on this side, but how was I going to explain that? Oh, sorry. All right, well, it's called senility, guys. It'll happen soon enough to you. All right, so what would we wind up doing? At 600, we're 2482. We're good. In any case, we've got plenty. Nothing to worry about. Okay, the exhaust. i got to go quick because my buddy's going to come by. Got to do a repair of my daughter's room where we're going to paint. So, <clears throat> as far as our exhaust, uh, the only thing we did was equalize the bowls. So, take a look what we got gained or minus. Plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. We still got a little bit of noise, but it's not nearly as bad, so I'm not worried about it as much. Plus, 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 except at the very top it loses the tiniest a bit. But with a pipe, we're still better, so I'm going to take it as a win. Now, really important part is our air speeds in that exhaust. All right, I'm going to say it's really about a wash. Okay, it was good, and it really didn't change a whole lot. So what do we got? Minus, plus, plus, nicely even on that side. Minus equals minus. Yeah, it got a little bit slower at, on the floor, which I'm not thrilled with. And on this side, this changed by one, minus a little bit, minus a couple. Not bad. Overall, the exhaust port is getting it done. Now, how big are the ports? Uh, this was my ported one, so it's 215.5 and a 72cc exhaust. Right after, uh, right after I'm done with this, we're going to do the... I have one complete stocker I still have to put on there, and we'll see if it how it handles the fuel and stuff. Now remember, it's still coated with that black stuff. I don't know what they coat it with. I'm sure it's deadly by breathing it and grinding it. So if you're going to do modifications on these heads, do not buy the coated ones. Even though they do make it look pretty on the outside. You know, I guess a lot of guys would pay just to have the damn thing look pretty on the outside. But in any case, that's our final. I'm going to take all these numbers I should say, yeah, these, this is my finish. I'm going to take these numbers, I'm going to put them right into our performance trends and see what we got. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.